recording locally. Hopefully this doesn't overwrite what I did last time. Uh, so yeah, guys. Again, if I post this, um, obviously a bit lighter out now. Uh, had a couple calls last night, uh, both father and um, oh, Glenn, who runs the ISOC, uh, ISOC Canada organization. So unfortunately, I had to stop the broadcast, stop the recording, um, have a conversation with him. I didn't even get off that until probably just after 10 o'clock. Uh, so I decided to basically just call that a night for the recording. Uh, hopefully today is, uh, I want to hammer through probably the majority of this stuff today. Um, maybe get halfway through it just so that approvals can start to be done for this. Uh, but um, we are currently at, um, still doing the Carmichael Jackson, Action Jackson um, room. But we are at, I believe, the third third or the second one which means that we're doing uh carl bergenheim is done um so the last one i was doing which i don't think i finished was uh manny elowar a blackberry developer and edgar parada manny elowar and edgar parada so uh switches over as you can see same setup, except a slight difference, obviously, with the 03 now being uh, today's thing. So I'm hoping the recording's going to end up working today. i uh, just going to do a couple tests first to make sure that the audio is functioning. So, and is it working? Is it work? I'm, let's see, what can I do for a test? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I always wanted to know what my Marvin sounded like, at least uh, on the recording. So... Ooh, he makes me so, so angry, I could just die. The earth is in my way. It's got to be moved or destroyed. How does that even work? And is it working? Is it work? Okay, so there is a large chunk there. That is going to be my shift P. Control shift P. Remove. And is it working? Is it work? I'm. Let's see, what can I do for a test? Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, I always wanted to know what my Marvin sounded like, at least uh, on the recording. So. Ooh, he makes me so so angry. I could just die. Mm. The Earth is in my way. It's got to be moved. It's not bad. Or destroyed. Not best. I've heard better. Awesome. So let me just do a quick deletion of that. Uh, yes and no. Oh, right. Uh, delete. Do you want to save? No. Uh, what? Your recent what? Oh, interesting. Okay, huh. Apparently. Hmm. Can I just download it? Interesting indeed. Yeah. Hmm. Sorry, uh, I really shouldn't do this while I'm doing this recording. Um, okay. On to the fun stuff. New audio file. Uh, let us see. It's going to be 06-01. Uh, uh, um, and it is Manny, Ella, War, and Edgar Parada. Enter. There we go. So let us take a look. Our next presenter. Oh, crap. Presenters. Our next presenters, Manny Elowar, a BlackBerry developer evangelist at BlackBerry, and Edgar Parada, a BlackBerry developer evangelist for BlackBerry 10 platform. Really? That's what you want me to say?
Our next presenters, Manny Elawar and Edgar Parada, both of which, no, that's not, see, I'm making up words now. Hmm. Our next presenters, Manny Elawar and Edgar Parada, are BlackBerry developer evangelists at BlackBerry. That doesn't fucking make sense. Uh, creating the new BlackBerry platform. Please, will, please give a warm welcome. Please give a warm FITC welcome to Manny and Edgar. Our next presenters, Manny Elowar and Bl <clears throat> Our next presenters, Manny Elowar, a BlackBerry developer evangelist at BlackBerry, and Edgar Parada, BlackBerry developer evangelist for BlackBerry 10 platform, are here to talk about the various development approaches available to developers creating apps on the new BlackBerry 10 platform. 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 It's always right at the end. Our next presenters, Manny Elowar, a BlackBerry developer evangelist at BlackBerry, and Edgar Parada, BlackBerry developer evangelist for BlackBerry 10 platform, are here today to talk about various development approaches available to developers creating apps on the new BlackBerry 10 platform. No, see, that doesn't roll off the tongue. And uh, how many times has developer said it? Developer, developer, developer. Uh, let's see. Our next presenters, Manny Elowar, a BlackBerry developer evangelist at BlackBerry, and Edgar Parada, BlackBerry developer evangelist for BlackBerry 10 platform, are here today to talk about the various development approaches available to developers creating apps on the new BlackBerry 10 platform. Please give a warm FITC welcome to Manny and Edgar. See, that works, but it's horrible. Just, it's horrible. Horrible writing. I don't, there's no way they're going to use that. Uh, so, shift P, control shift P. Wow, that's a lot of noise in today. Our next presenters, Manny Elowar, a BlackBerry developer evangelist at BlackBerry, and Edgar Parada, BlackBerry developer evangelist for BlackBerry 10 platform, are here today to talk about the various development approaches available to developers creating apps on the new BlackBerry 10 platform. Please give a warm FITC welcome to Manny and Edgar. Yeah, that needs to be changed. Um, can I just save it to the right one? Browse. See, mm. Dropbox to recordings. Carmichael Monday, and I'm going to add little. Okay, that. Okay. So that's that one. On to the next new audio file. 07-01- Oh, no. 07-00. Yep. Um, V1. Welcome back, everyone. Before we begin the afternoon sessions, oh no, lots of that. Welcome back, everyone. Before we begin afternoon sessions, just a friendly reminder to please complete the session feedback cards on your seats at the end of each session and hand them in to a volunteer. Shift P, Control Shift P. Welcome back, everyone. Before we begin afternoon sessions, just a friendly reminder to please complete the session feedback cards on your seats at the end of each session and hand them in to a volunteer. Yeah, that works. Um, and sure. So file, new audio file. Love it when it happens first time. Um, O seven dash O one V one, and this is Microsoft's modern UI with Paul Laberge. Paul Laberge. Paul, if you ever do watch this, seriously, love saying your last name. P 
Paul Leberge. Makes me sound all... I don't know. Save that. Our next presenter has more than 12 years technical experience in the industry and has been working with Microsoft for almost five years now. He leads Microsoft's developer engagement and spends his time speaking at events and driving the Canadian developer ecosystem to help build amazing Windows Phone apps. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Paul Leberge. Okay, that one, come on, sweet. Let us hear that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Our next presenter has more than 12 years technical experience in the industry and has been working with Microsoft for almost five years now. He leads Microsoft's developer engagement and spends his time speaking at events and driving the Canadian developer ecosystem to help build amazing Windows Phone apps. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Paul Leberge. Okay, I kind of want to do a joke one for that one. Uh huh. New audio file uh, 07-01v1 Paula Bears Fun. Our next presenter has more than 12 years of technical experience in the industry and has been working with Microsoft for almost five years now. He leads the developer engagement and spends his time speaking at events and driving the Canadian developer ecosystem. Please welcome Paul Leberge. Okay, first of all, get rid of the click. Should we go here? Shift P, Control Shift P. Our next presenter has more than 12 years of technical experience in the industry and has been working with Microsoft for almost five years now. He leads the developer engagement and spends his time speaking at events and driving the Canadian developer ecosystem. Please welcome Paul Leberge. <laughs> okay, I gotta save that one, just for fun. Oh, okay, that's that one. Um, new audio file. Wow, I'm pumping these out today. 08 dash. Um, really? That's it? I'm not doing any more. Oh, okay. Uh, 08 dash 00 V1. And this one is. Oh, Twitter. Really? I don't need that one. 01. Uh, I already got the Twitter one. We should do, I gotta mention that to him, um, Google Plus event, just so that they have that as well. So I'll see if I can probably redo that one and then we'll do some variations on it. Uh, and this one is going to be Jerry Cody, 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 Jerry Cody. Yeah, Jerry Cody, okay. Cody. <clears throat> so, our next speaker is a designer, illustrator, and photographer who lives and works out of her home in Newfoundland. Out of her home in Newfoundland, she is an art director by day and by night. She freelances. She freelances and blogs through her website, HeroJerry.com. Here to discuss the importance of coloring the web. Please welcome Jerry Cody. Our next speaker. Nope. Our next speaker is a designer, illustrator, and photographer who lives and works out of her home in Newfoundland. She is an art director by day, and by night she freelances and blogs through her website hellojerry.com. Here to discuss the importance of coloring the web, please welcome Jerry Cody. Shift P, Control Shift P. Our next speaker is a designer. Ooh. Ah! Speaker! Speaker! Fucking tard. Our next speaker is a designer, illustrator, and photographer who lives and works out of her home in Newfoundland. She is an art director by day, and by night she freelances and blogs through her website, hellojerry.com. Here to discuss the importance of coloring the web, please welcome Jerry Cody. Okay, that wasn't bad. 
Let's hear that. Ship P. What was it? Yeah, you got it. Our next speaker is a designer, illustrator, and photographer who lives and works out of her home in Newfoundland. She is an art director by day, and by night she freelances and blogs through her website, hellojerry.com. Here to discuss the importance of coloring the web, please welcome Jerry Cody. Ooh, I don't like the end. Uh, I'm just going to crop that off. Save! Yes! New audio file. Tuesday. I'm on Tuesday today. Did you bring a raincoat? Uh, let's see here. 09 dash 0 V1. Day 3. So, this one. Good morning and welcome to day three of FITC Toronto 2013. Hope you have enough energy for one more... Really? One more day of big presentations. Also, please don't forget to hand in those feedback forms on your seats after each presentation so you're eligible, so you can be eligible for some great prizes. I might change that to outstanding if I remember. Good morning and welcome to day three of FITC Toronto 2013. Hope you have... Nope. Delay. Good morning, and welcome to day three of FITC Toronto 2013. Hope you have enough energy left for one more day of big presentations. Also, please don't forget to hand in those feedback forms in your seats after each presentation so you can be eligible for some great prizes. Hmm. I don't know if I like the end of that. Let's take a look. Good morning, and welcome to day three of FITC Toronto 2013. Hope you have enough energy left for one more day of big presentations. Also, please don't forget to hand in those feedback forms in your seats after each presentation, so you can be eligible for some great prizes. That's not bad. Good morning. Yeah, I don't mind that. Uh, and this is actually not going in Monday. It is going into Twas Day. So, file, what is the shortcut command for that? Just uh, control shift N. Okay. Um, 09-01v1. Adam Thody. We begin the day with Adam Thody. The lead architect, the lead architects, web, the lead architects, the lead of architects web. Wow, that's going to be a difficult one. Architects web, mobile, and cloud applications practice. His team builds great-looking, powerful applications that leverage open web standards, cloud technologies, and open source. Here today with his presentation, the science of effective software design. Please welcome Adam. Thoughty. 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 Hmm. Thoughty. We begin the day with Adam Thoughty, the lead architect's. The lead of. Our, we begin today with Adam Thoughty, the lead of, archite hmm, of architects. Wrong emphasis. We begin today with Adam Thoughty the lead of architects, web, mobile, and cloud applications practice. His team builds great looking, powerful applications that leverage the web standards, cloud technologies, and open source. Here today with his presentation, The Science of Effective Software Design, please welcome Adam. Trim, clean, apply. We begin today with Adam Thoughty, the lead of Architects Web, Mobile, and Cloud Applications Practice. His team builds great looking, powerful applications that leverage the web standards, cloud technologies, and open source. Here today with his presentation, The Science of Effective Software Design, please welcome Adam. We begin today with Adam. 
save. I'm going to mute that because that was close. I almost had that happen during the actual talking. Um, okay. That's fine. Control Shift N. Let us do. How many files are there here? Let's. Um, Tuesday, that's 10 now, 10-01, ah, ten, yeah, 10-01v1, and this is going to be, again, Paul? Wow, Paul, you've got like, dude, seriously, is he online? Hmm. Uh, let's just move, I think that does consent. let's just move that away from the, the video recording. Who contacted me? Oh, Glenn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, FYI. Oh, I'll have to take a look at that. Um, Paul Leberge. Paul, where are you? Ah, oh, I guess I don't have him. Ah, oh, he's on here, but it's not online. Yeah, he's not online right now. Interesting. Okay. Ah, oh, what? Oh. Hmm. Hello, James Panico online. Okay, so Paul LaBerge again. Let's see. Um, hopefully he doesn't actually interrupt this, but I'm going to minimize skip um, and then continue. Watch, it's going to happen just as I record. He's going to write back and it's going to be like, and I got to redo it even though it's done at the end. Anyway, let's take a look. Uh, oh, good. My face covers up whoever that is. Um, da -da 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 Paul LaBerge. Okay. Our next presenter has more than 12 years of technical experience in the industry and is working with Microsoft for almost five years now. Has been. Our next presenter has more than 12 years of technical experience in the industry and has been working with Microsoft for almost five years now. He leads Microsoft's development nope, developer engagement. Our next presenter has more than 12 years of technical experience in the industry and has been working with Microsoft for almost five years now. He leads Microsoft's developer engagement and spends his time speaking at events and driving the Canadian developer ecosystem to help, nope, to help build fuck that shit, cock fuck. <sighs> Why don't I just add the extra little thing at the end? Our next presenter has more than 12 years of technical experience in the end and has been working with Microsoft for almost five years now. He leads Microsoft's developer engagement and spends his time speaking at events and driving the Canadian developer ecosystem to help build a mating, a mating. Um, that's not even a word, come on. <laughs> no, delete. Our next presenter has more than 12 years of technical experience in the industry and has been working with Microsoft for almost five years now. He leads Microsoft's developer engagement and spends this time... Spend the, 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 the. Our next presenter has more than 12 years of technical experience in the industry and has been working with Microsoft for almost five years now. He leads Microsoft's developer engagement and spends his time speaking at events and driving the Canadian developer ecosystem to help. That, it's so long, that sentence is. Our next presenter has more than 12 years... Exp no, that was a... 
Our next presenter has more than 12 years of technical experience in the industry and has been working with Microsoft for almost five years now. He leads Microsoft's developer engagement and spends his time speaking at events and driving the Canadian ecosystem. Canadian ecosystem. Uh, oh, how do I get... I've done this one so many times. Uh. Our next presenter has more than 12 years of technical experience in the industry and has been working with Microsoft for almost five years now. He leads Microsoft's developer engagement and spends his time speaking at events and driving the Canadian developer ecosystem to help build amazing Windows Phone apps. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Paul Laberge. Okay, I'm sticking to that one. Fuck it. I don't care. Ooh, gotta cut a little bit more off of that. Shabaleted. This shift P. Control shift P. Our next presenter has more than 12 years of technical experience in the industry and has been working with Microsoft for almost five years now. He leads Microsoft's developer engagement and spends his time speaking at events and driving the Canadian developer ecosystem to help build amazing Windows Phone apps. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Paul Laberge. <laughs> It'll be redone anyway. Uh, save to Paul Laberge. And saved. Perfect. Um, God, it's a painful one, though. Uh, let's see here. La Berge. Okay, so Jenna and Patrick is next. Control Shift N. Uh, and this is 11 01 V1. Oh, I didn't do that. Damn it. Delete. No, Control Shift N, one one dash o one v one, and this is going to be Jenna Marino and and her new husband, uh, Patrick Han Hanny. Haney? 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 Okay. Uh, let's see. Welcome back. Uh, we're into. Okay, so I gotta do that one first. Um, but let me just jump into this one first, actually. So, okay. Only because I didn't realize that. Oh, my leg! <clears throat> Fuck. Some see the cup as half empty, some see the cup as half full. I see it as, damn, I gotta get up soon and make myself another cup. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Jenna Marino, it, no, it was too fast. Moreno, Moreno. Jenna Marino is a Boston based designer and she is a sensible, uh, hmm, she's the sensible. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me just read this first. Jenna Marino is a Boston-based designer, and she is the sensible half of Harino, a design studio she and her now husband started over three years ago. On stage with Jenna is Patrick Haney. Haney? Haney. 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 A developer turned designer, working with his wife and working with his wife Jenna. Designer working with his wife Jenna and swears that she's not a sausage, although presumably the less sensible half of Harina. He's not a sausage. What? Uh, is that... <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Jenna Marino is a Boston-based designer, and she is the sensible... No... Jenna Marino is a Boston-based designer, and she is the sensible half of Harino, a design studio she and her now husband started over three years ago. On stage with Jenna is Patrick Haney, a developer turned designer working with his wife. He sw no. Why am I fucking saying Jenna again? Jenna Marino is a Boston-based designer, and she is the sensible half of Harino a design studio she and her now husband started over three years ago. 
That sounds like 30, but it isn't it's three. Jenna Marino is a Boston-based designer. Nope. Jenna Marino is a Boston-based designer, and she is the sensible half of Harino. Hanarino. Hanarino. Jenna Marino is a Boston-based designer, and she is the sensible half of Harino. Wow! Come on! Jenna Marino is a Boston-based designer, and she is the sensible half of Hanarino. A design studio her and her husband started over three years ago. No, her and her now husband. Her and her now husband. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Jenna Marino is a Boston designer. Boston based. Jenna Marino is a Boston based designer and she's the sensible half of Hannah Reno, a design studio her now husband. Her and her now husband. She and Jenna Marino is a Boston-based designer, and she is the sensible half of Hannah Reno, a design studio she and her now husband started over three years ago. On stage with Jenna, see, now I'm going into my Mr. Movie phone, and they don't want that. <sighs> Jenna Marino is a Boston-based designer, and she is the sensible half of Hannah Reno, a design studio her and her now husband, her and her now husband. She and her now husband. Jenna Marino is a Boston-based designer, and she is the sensible half of Hannah Reno, a design studio she and her now husband started over three years ago. On stage with Jenna is Patrick Haney, a developer turned designer working with his wife Jenna, and swears he's not a sausage, also presumably the less sensible half of Hannah Reno. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jenna and Patrick. Now, that was verbatim. So, I'm sticking with that one. Too much problems. Uh, let's see. Clip it that. Not too much lead up into that. Oh, shit. Uh, not too much lead up into that, but I should be able to capture from that. <sighs> Jenna Marino is a Boston based designer, and she is the sensible half of Hannah Reno, a design studio she and her now husband started over three years ago. On stage Hain Rhino Jenna. is Patrick Haney, a developer turned designer working with his wife Jenna, and swears he's not a sausage, also presumably the less sensible half of Hannah Reno. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jenna and Hannah Patrick. Rhino. Jenna Hannah Rhino. Jenna Marino is a Boston based designer, and she is the sensible Marino. half of Hannah Reno. Marino? Is it Marino or Marino? It's probably Marino. Jenna Marino is a Boston based. Yeah, Hannah Rhino. Han, Han Rhino, Han Rhino, Hanley, Hanny, Marino, Marino, Marino. Did I say Marino or Marino? A design studio she and her now husband started over three years ago. On stage with Jenna is Patrick Hanny, a developer turned designer, working with his wife Jenna. Marino, Marino. I'm sticking with Marino. Yes, save. Hmm. Fuck it. Okay. We'll fix it in post. Kind of. Control shift N. To I think I'm on twelve now? Yeah. Uh twelve dash O one dash. Wow, interesting. I didn't know they're doing one together. V one. Uh Heather Payne. And Pearl Chen. Okay. <sighs> Let's see if I can do this one without reading it first. Welcome back, everyone. FITC is excited to introduce our next presenters. Heather Payne isn't... Hmm. That shouldn't be a colon. Oh, pardon me. Welcome... Really? Heather Payne is back. Heather Payne is back. Fuck. Welcome back, everyone. FITC is excited to introduce our next presenters. 
Heather Payne is an entrepreneur and the founder. Um, <sighs> Welcome back, everyone. FITC is excited to introduce our next presenters. Heather Payne is an entrepreneur and the founder of Ladies Learning Code in 2011 and Hacker U in 2012. Pearl Chen is a technologist and independent educator and a longtime. Fr hmm. Wait for the plane to pass. Okay. Welcome back, everyone. FITC is wel is welcome to excite. Welcome back, everyone. FITC is excited to introduce our next presenters. Heather Payne is an entrepreneur and the founder of Ladies Learning Code in 2011 and Hacker U in 2012. Pearl Chen is a technologist and independent educator. An independent, not and. Welcome back, everyone. FITC is excited to introduce our next presenters. Heather Payne is an entrepreneur and the founder of Ladies Learning Code in 2011, as well as Hacker U in 2012. Pearl Chen is a technologist and entrepreneur. An entrepreneur Damn you, Pearl! Mess me up! Welcome back, everyone. FITC is excited to introduce our next presenters. Heather Payne is an entrepreneur and a founder of Ladies Learning Code in 2011, and Hacker U in 2012. Pearl Chen is a technologist, an independent educator, and a longtime friend of FITC. Together, they're here today to share their experiences with Ladies Learning Code and show you how to how their Welcome back. Blah, 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 blah. They're here today to share their experience with Ladies Learning Code and show how show you how their lessons can benefit you. Please welcome Heather and Pearl. Welcome back, everyone. FITC is excited to introduce our next presenters. Heather Payne is an entrepreneur and the founder of Ladies Learning Code in 2011, as well as Hacker U in 2012. Pearl Chen is a technologist, an independent educator, and a longtime friend of FITC. Together, they're here today to share their experience with Ladies Learning Code and show you how their lessons can benefit you. Please welcome Heather and Pearl. That wasn't bad. But we did and sh shift P. I'm not sure out there. So what is the first? Welcome back, everyone. Yeah. FITC is excited to introduce our next presenters. Heather Payne is an entrepreneur. Good enough. Is that the last one? That's the last one for this room. Interesting. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the PFK, PKFs. Um, and How many files are there? There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Zero of seven. Tuesday has one, two, three, four, five. Zero of five. Archive, just setting up the folder structure here. So archive and approved. There we go. 
sorry, Miss Jackson, uh, uh, for real. No, I'm not gonna sing. Okay, so that's that one. Now the Toronto, I believe, I have not done anything else for any of the other rooms. Hmm, what time is it? 12.46, that's not bad. Um, so, let us, oh, session two is there. Don't need that. Uh, I'm gonna clear the trash. Toronto. Tumblr, why is, really? I don't fucking use Tumblr. Anyway, uh, Alfred, where is your email script? Um, I do like me some coffee. Toronto one. Toronto two. Oh, that's three. See, this is why I look. So. Version two. Now that that is done, let us move on to number two. Hmm. Computational materials. Good morning and welcome to FITC 2013. That's the same fucking thing as the other one. Yeah, I gotta find a better way to name that. So these are gonna be number one because of the fact that it's in that room. Should name these differently though. Hmm. It's kind of boring for you. I'll do this when I'm off camera, but I will probably rename these files just because. Um, and then next time I'm on here, I will obviously you'll see that. So next one we have is uh, MIT Media Lab. Um, from Marcelo Colho. Oh, interesting. There's apparently an audio file to go with this one. Um, the correct way to pronounce Anton's last name is Reponin. Reponin. Is the stress is on the first E of his name. So it would sound like this, Anton Reponin. And the correct way to pronounce Irene's last name mm. is Herrera. Herrera. So it's not that one, it's... Marcelo Coelho. What? I'm sorry. Marcelo Coelho. Coelho? Coelho. 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 Coelho? Marcelo Coelho. Coelho. Okay, I'll try it. Control Shift N. O one dash O one V one, and this is going to be Marcelo Quelu Hmm. Ah, giggity, fracking goo. Our first presenter. Hmm. Our first presenter. I can't get right. Our first presenter is here from the <clears throat> Our first presenter is here from the MIT Media Lab. He is a <clears throat> Our first presenter is here from the MIT Media Lab. He is an artist, designer, and researcher whose work explores how physical and computational materials can be used to create new human experiences. Here to discuss his conceptual and technical design process, please welcome Marcelo Kuhu. Fuck. Marcelo Q. 
Kilho, Kilhu, Kilhu, Kilhu. I may have to do that. Uh, okay. Our first presenter is here from the MIT Media Lab. He is an artist, designer, and researcher whose work explores how physical and computational materials can be used to create new human experiences. Here to discuss his concepts and technical design process, please welcome Marcelo Kilhul. That was a horrible, horrible, horrible butchering of his name. Oh, Kilhul. 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 Hmm. Let me just swap out this and try it again. Quelu, Quelu, remind me of that. Quelu, Quelu. Okay, so let's try this again. Quelu, it's Quelu, Quelu, Quelu. As in Quel, and then you Q U E L dash Y U Y O U, Quelu. Blah. Ooh, that coffee tongue is getting and kicking in. Our first presenter is here from the MIT Media Lab. He is an artist, designer, and researcher who works on who whose work. Our first presenter is here from the MIT Media Lab. He is an artist, designer, and researcher whose work explores how physical and computational materials can be used to create new human experiences. Here to discuss his conceptual and technical design process, please welcome Marcelo Kilhu. Kil Kilhu. Kilhu. Fudge sickle. Our first presenter is here from the MIT Media Lab. He is an artist, designer, and researcher whose work explores how to phys how to physical physical. I wanna get. Our first presenter is here from the MIT Media Lab. He is an artist, designer, and researcher whose work explores how physical and computational materials can be used to create new human experiences. Here to discuss his conceptual and technical design process. Technical, technical, technical. Our first presenter is here from the MIT Media Lab. He is an artist, designer, and researcher whose work explores how to physic how physical physical our first presenter is here from the MIT Media Lab he is an artist designer and researcher whose work explores how physical and computational materials can be used to create new human experiences here to discuss this conceptual and technical design process please welcome Marcelo Kilyu yes yes please oh my god that better work Kilyu i fucking said it Oh my god, I know I said I wasn't going to swear, but oh my god. Media Lab. Just, just, uh, apply. Our first presenter is here from the MIT Media Lab. He is an artist, designer, and researcher whose work explores how physical and computational materials can be used to create new human experiences. Here to discuss this conceptual and technical design process, please welcome Marcelo Kilyu. Yes! Save! Oh my god, save! Oh my god, save! Okay, browse. Uh, Dropbox to Spotlight. Uh, recordings. Toronto 1, and this is Sunday. Must resist urge to do Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! Okay. Awesome day. Oh, Sunday at 11.15, experimenting with the creative process with... Um, Masashi Kawamura. Masashi Kawamura. Masashi Kawamura. Okay. Masashi. Okay. Okay, let's try this. Two O two dash O one V one. Why am I all caps on? I hate all caps. V. There we go. Uh, Masashi Kawa 
Bura. Our next presenter was named one of one. Of, hmm. Our next presenter was named one of the most. Hmm. Our next presenter was named one of the most. One of the one of, was named one of, was named one of. Our next presenter was named one of one hundred most creative people in business of twenty twelve by fa hmm. Our next presenter was named one of 100 most creative people in business 2012 by Fast Company and is the creative director and co-founder of the Creative Lab Party, here to explore the different creative process to achieve, here to explore A. Our, hmm. Our next presenter was named one of 100 most creative people in business 2012 by Fast Company and is the creative director and co-founder of the Creative Lab Party. Here to explore a different creative process to achieve something new and innovative. Please welcome Masashi Kawamura. Oops, and select this side. Shift P. Control Shift P. Our next presenter was named one of 100 most creative people in business 2012 by Fast Company and is the creative director and co founder of the Creative Lab Party. Here to explore a different creative process to achieve something new and innovative. Please welcome Masashi Kawamura. Okay, I like that. Why is it still saving? Oh yeah, it is Sunday, that's why. Toronto. Toronto. Sav. Control Shift N to 03 dash 01 dash. Uh, what am I doing? Yeah. Oh, uh, V1. Okay, so this one. Hello, everyone. Before we get started, I'd like to remind you the online conversation. Hashtag blah, blah, blah. Got that already. So, 03 is going to be Kyle McDonald. Hey, Kyle's back. Awesome. Kyle uh, McDonald. Seriously, cool guy. Um, great conversationalist. Uh, and great ideas. <sighs> ah, apparently they're happy to have him back too. Uh, an artist in residence at Yamaguchi Center of Arts and Media in Japan. Hey, nice. Good for him. And now, FITC is extremely... Mm. And now, FITC is extremely proud to introduce our next presenter. He is a pres... Mm. And now, FITC is extremely proud to... print. Mm. And now, FITC extreme. And now, FITC is extremely proud to introduce our next presenter. He is presently an artist in residence at the Yamaguchi Center of Arts and Media in Japan. He works with sound and codes, exploring transitional and contextualizations. What? Come on! I re well, go away. Oh man, really? And now, FITC is extremely proud to introduce our next presenter. He is presently an artist in residence at the Yamaguchi Center of Arts for, uh, for Arts and Media in Japan. He works with sound and codes, exploring translation, contextualization, and similarity. Here to discuss sharing code, ideas, and collaborating on artwork, please welcome us in joining in joining. Please join us in welcoming Kyle McDonald. Cat. Oh. And now, FITC is extremely proud to. And now, FITC is extremely proud to introduce our next presenter. He is presently an artist in residence at the Yamaguchi Center for Arts and Media in Japan. He works with sound and codes, exploring translation, contextualization, and similarity. Here today, to this. And now, FITC is extremely proud to introduce our next presenter. He is presently an artist in residence at the Yamaguchi Center for Arts and Media in Japan. 
He works with sound and codes, exploring translations, contextualizations, and similarity. Here to discuss sharing code, ideas, and collaborating in our artwork, please join us in welcoming Kyle McDonald. And now, oh. FITC is extremely proud to introduce our next presenter. He is presently an artist in residence at the Yamaguchi Center for Arts and Media in Japan. He works with sound and codes, mm. exploring. I don't like that. The Yamaguchi Cent residence at Yamaguchi at the Yamaguchi Center for Arts and Arts and Media. Artist in residence at the Yamaguchi Center of Art for Arts and Media in Japan. And now, FIT mm, too much. And now, FITC is extremely proud to introduce our next presenter. He is presently an artist in residence at the Yamaguchi Center for Arts and Media in Japan. He works with sound and code, exploring translation, contextualization, and similarity. Here to discuss sharing code, ideas, and collaborating on artwork, please join us in welcoming Kyle McDonald. Get rid of that. Shift P. Control Shift P. And now, FITC is extremely proud to introduce our next presenter. He is presently an artist in residence at the Yamaguchi Center for Arts and Media in Japan. He works with sound and code, exploring translation, contextualization, and similarity. Here to discuss sharing code, ideas, and collaborating on artwork, please join us in welcoming Kyle McDonald. And now, okay, save Shav. Really, that sounds nice. I want to do a kind of fun one with that one. Let's do um, 03 01 v1 Kyle McDonald. Fun. And now, FITC is extremely proud to introduce our next presenter. He is presently an artist in residence at the Yamaguchi Center of Arts and Media in Japan. He currently works with sound and codes, exploring translations, contextualizations, and similarity. Here to discuss sharing codes, ideas, and collaborating on artwork. Please welcome us in joining. Please welcome us in joining. Oh my god, serially. Oh, come on. I know I'm going to get an email very shortly, so I'm going to mute that. And now, FITC is extremely proud to introduce our next presenter. He is presently an artist in residence at the Yamaguchi Center for Arts and Media in Japan. He works with sounds and codes, exploring translations, contextualizations, and similarity. Here today to discuss sharing code, ideas, and collaborating on artwork, please join us in welcoming Kyle McDonald. Okay, that was fun. Shift P, oops. And now, FITC is extremely proud to introduce mm, our like next presenter. He is presently an artist in residence at the Yamaguchi Center for Arts and Media in Japan. He works with sounds and codes. Oh, oh God, that was horrible. Okay, no, I don't want that one. This, delete, no. Control Shift N. Okay, let's see, we are doing do 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 v1 hello everyone before we get started blah 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 uh no that was that one designer lap explosives what what designer lap explosives um this one is please welcome G monk, g monk, 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 g monk. Galactic crusaders who devote devoutly believe in hot vegans and dark crystals. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> And now back to our presentations. Gmunk is a designer, director, and galactic crusader who devoutly believes that hot vegans and dark crystal... Hot... <laughs> what? <laughs> he is here today to share insights 
on how to stay inspired and the importance of self-initiation and staying true to your sensibility as a designer. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Gmunk. <laughs> what? Awesome. Amazing. And now back to our presentation. Gmunk is a design... Hmm. Gmunk. Oh, what the fuck did I start that for? And now back to our presentation. Gmunk is a designer, director, and galactic crusader who devoutly believes in hot vegans and dark crystals. He is here today to share insight on how to stay inspired, the importance of self-initiation, and staying true to your sensibility as a designer. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Gmunk. Why does that record before I push buttons? Interesting presentation yeah there's a better one there uh, shift P control a control shift P enter and now back to our presentation Gamunk is a designer director and galactic save yes wow that was an interesting one uh, I'm on to Monday N uh, 05 dash O. O one. I've already got that. V one. Nope. That was close. Um, this one is Sarah Blake. There we go. Let's try. Not reading it. Just going for it. Oops. Today's first presenter is a cat lady, runner, and lover of peanut butter who runs a small illustration and design studio in New York City. She works with both traditional and digital mediums to create predominantly nature-inspired images. As an expert in making mistakes, she is here to share why beauty lies in the blemishes and incongruence. Fudge! Incongru... Why can I not pronounce that word? Incongruous and honest and the honesty. Incongruous. How do I pronounce that? How to pronounce incongruous. So I play that again. Incongruous. Really? Huh. Incongruous. Interesting. Incongruous. I was going good on that one, too. But apparently, the talk is about making mistakes, so it applies. Belated. Today's first presenter is a cat lady, runner, and lover of peanut butter, who, o who always. Today's first presenter is a cat lady, runner, and lover of peanut butter, who runs a small illustration and design studio in New York City. She works in both traditional and digital mediums to create predominantly nature-inspired images. As an expert in making mistakes, she is here to share why beauty lies in the blemishes, the incongruous, and the honest. Honesty. Incongruous. I don't think that's the right word for that. What incongruous? What is the right word for that? Incong not in harmony or keeping with the surroundings. Incongruous. Incongruous. See, that's that makes far more sense. Incongruous. Uh, incongruous. Incongruous. Not in harmony or keeping with the surroundings of other aspects of something not in place. Incongruous. Yeah, see, that makes more sense. Okay. Congruous. Incongruous. Today's first presenter is a cat lady, runner, and lover of peanut butter 
who runs a small illustration and design studio in New York City. She works in both traditional and digital mediums to create predominantly nature-inspired images. As an expert in making mistakes, she is here to share why beauty lies in the blemishes, the incongruous, and the honesty. Please help, please, oh my god, seriously, did I just fuck up in the last simplest fucking line? Oh! Today's first presenter is a cat lady, runner, and lover of peanut butter, who runs a small illustrations and design studio here in New York, here in New York City. Does this look like New York? Today's first presenter is a cat lady, runner, and lover of peanut butter, who runs a small illustrations and design studio in New York City. She works in both traditional and digital mediums to create predominantly nature-inspired images. As an expert in making mistakes, she is here today to share why beauty lies in the blemishes, the incongruous, and the honesty. Please join us in welcoming Sarah Blake. That wasn't bad. I like that one. Okay. Uh, didn't, don't think I'm... Yeah, perfect. And... Showect. Shift P. Control A. Control Shift P. And... Sav. Today's first presenter is a cat lady, runner, and lover of peanut butter who runs a small illustration. Cool. I'm happy with that. Sarah Black. Ah, oh, that was Monday, not Sunday. Damn it. I'll move it. I just got a new follower, apparently. Oh, uh, her. Ah, nice. Really? Only now? Jenna. Okay. Um... The Art of Fucking Up. Awesome title. Nice title. Uh, okay, so... Oh, okay, here is... A couple things that I need to go double-check and how to properly pronounce. So, let me just quickly go and move some files around. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! Over to Monday. And uh, Sunday has... Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Really, there's only four. Okay. Zero of four. Oh, shit. I don't have that. So let me just do that and that. And copy this over. That and that. To copy that here. And copy that here. Uh, Toronto... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Cool. Uh, there's four rooms? No, there's three. There's four. Okay. So I need to go listen to that. To Alfred Park. Okay. Um... Irene. The correct way to pronounce Anton's last name is Reponin. Reponin. That is, the stress is on the first E of Reponin. his name. So it would sound like this, Anton Reponin. And the correct way to pronounce Irene's last name is Pereira. Herrera. Irene Pereira, Pereira. and Anton Reponin. Pereira and Reponin. Perfect. Thank you, whoever's voice that is. You did a very great job. Okay, so <clears throat> now we do Control Shift N. 06 01 V1. And this one is Irene Pereira. Pereira. And Anton Reponin. FITC is pleased to introduce our next presenters, Irene and Anton. They make up the creative driving force behind the award-winning agency, FI. Irene is a global director of UX and stra mm, of user experience. FITC is pleased to introduce our next presenters, Irene and Anton. They make up the creative driving force behind the award-winning agency, FI. Irene is a global director of user experience and strategy, and Anton, as a global director, 
Anton. That what? An Anton has a global directory. Oh. FITC is pleased to introduce our next presenters, Irene and Anton. They make up the creative driving force behind the award-winning agency, FI. Irene, as a global director of user experience and strategy, and Anton, as a creative direct, global creative director. Baka! FITC is pleased to introduce our next presenters, Irene and Anton. They make up the creative driving force behind the award-winning agency, FI. Irene, as the global director of user experience and strategy, and Anton, as the global creative director. They aim to make the world a better place by creating beautiful design and intuitive interfaces. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Irene Pereira. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Come on, I just did Pereira and Anton Repperman. FITC is pleased to introduce our next presenters, Irene and Anton. They make up the driving force behind the creative driving force. Please. FITC is pleased to introduce our next presenters, Irene and Anton. They make up the creative driving force behind the award-winning agency, FI. Irene, as the global director of user experience and strategy, and Anton, as the global creative director. They aim to make the world a better place by creating beautiful designs and intuitive interfaces. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Irene Pereira and Anton Reponin. Awesome. Okay, so this is not Sunday. This is Dropbox, FITC Toronto, Recordings, Toronto One, Monday. Mm, okay. Oh, I think it's time for Omo Coffee. Um, I just a little bit. Mm. Definitely. Okay, one more and then I'll get a coffee. Um, the collision of art and technology. Online conversation, which I don't need because I already have. And I'll probably end up doing a bunch more. To um, 07 01 V1. V uh, this is. Founder of Leviathan, a studio emergency. Jason White. Jason White. Our next presenter is an executive creative director and co founder of Leviathan, a studio emerging as a lead. I kind of. <coughs> that was a weird one. Our next presenter is an executive creative director and co founder of Leviathan a studio emerging as an industry leader in creative phenomenal visual experiences across the media platforms. Across all. Our next presenter is an executive creative director and co-founder of Leviathan, a studio emerging as a leader, as an industry leader. Our next presenter is an executive creative director and co-founder of Leviathan, a studio emerging, emerging, emergency, emerging. Our next presenter is an executive creative director and co-founder of Leviathan, a studio emerging emerge again. <sighs> okay. Our next presenter is an executive creative director and co-founder of Leviathan, a studio emerging emerging again. Really? Our next presenter is an executive creative director and co-founder of Leviathan, a studio emerging. M. <laughs> it's there. It's right there. Oh my god. <sighs> Our next presenter is an executive director. <laughs> Our next presenter is an executive creative director and co-founder of Leviathan. A studio emerging, 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 emerging,
emerging, emerging, a studio emerging as an industry leader, an industry leader, emerging as an industry leader. Our next presenter is an executive creative director and co-founder of Leviathan, a studio emerging as the... <laughs> Not funny! Stop laughing! Our next presenter is an executive creative director and co-founder of Leviathan, a studio emerging as the industry leader in creative phenomenal and visual experiences across all media platforms. As and not as the. Our next presenter is an executive creative director and co-founder of Leviathan, a studio emerging as an industry leader in creative phenomenal visual experiences across all media platforms. Here to discuss some of the transformative experiences of the present of the present really present of <laughs> that's so good. Our next presenter is an executive creative director and co-founder of Leviathan, a studio emerging as an industry leader in creative phenomenal visual experiences across all media platforms. Here to discuss some of the transformative experiences of the present, as well as those shaping up for the future. Please join me in welcoming Jason. Join us. Join us in welcoming, not me. <sighs> that and there was kind of a weird. <sighs> really? Fuck, this mic is too good. Our next presenter is an executive creative director and co founder of Leviathan, a studio emerging as one of the industry's leader. Our next presenter is an executive creative director and co-founder of Leviathan, a studio emerging as an industry leader in creating phenomenal visual experiences across all media platforms. Here to discuss some of the transformative experiences of the present, as well as those shaping up for the future, please join us in welcoming Jason White. Okay. I'm sticking to it. That was too fucking hard. Yep, too fucking hard. Fuck you all. Especially you in the back. Shift P, Control A, Control Shift P, uh, Control Shift S, Jason White, recordings, Monday, yash, 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 dude, I can't believe it, it's almost done, not really, Monday, 3 o'clock, really, is that already at 3, really, wow, uh, really, wow, um, called web, Control Shift N, 08-01v1 and this one is Anric Bregman FITC is pleased to bring you our next presenter he's an interactive director and artist as an interactive director <laughs> FITC is pleased to bring you our next presenter. He is an interactive director and artist. As an, as an interactive developer, FITC is pleased to bring you our next presenter. He is an interactive director and artist. As an interactive director in Unit 9, he creates web-based stories, as well as installations, art, installation artwork as part of the art, arts collective, Tango and Hawaii. Here to explore the concept of cult web, everyone please welcome Anric Brigman. FITC is pleased to bring you our next presenter. He is an interactive director and artist. As an interactive director at Unit 9, he creates web-based stories as well as installation artwork as a... FITC is pleased to bring you our next presenter. He is an interactive director and artist. Why are you mentioning the fucking artist then? FITC is pleased to bring you our next presenter. He is an interactive director and artist. As an interactive director at Unit 9, he creates web-based stories as well as installation artwork as part of the art collective Tango in Hawaii. Here to explore the concept of cult web, everyone please welcome Anric Bregman. Oh, that was a weird one. FITC is pleased to bring you our next presenter. He is an interactive director and artist. As an interactive director at Unit 9, 
He creates web-based stories, as well as installation artwork as part of the art collective Tango in Hawaii. Here to explore the concept of cult web, everyone please welcome Anric Bregman. That was Monday. Sorry, I shouldn't really blow into the microphone. Uh, it was 07, so 08 dash 01. Okay. Mm, I already did that. So I don't need that one again. 01 V1. And this one's going to be Danny Yunt. 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 Wow. Sorry, Danny. Um, our first presenter is Danny Yunt, a two-time Emmy Award winner for his work as the main title designer and director. Internationally recognized for his work in feature films and television main titles and show opens. He is here today to share what he takes... Wow, that is... I gotta read this through first. That's a long one. Our first presenter is Danny Yunt, a first... Uh, a two-time Emmy Award winner for his work as a main title designer and director, internationally recognized for his work in feature films and television main title. Feature films, television main titles, and show opens. He is here today to share what it takes to set the tone for a TV series or film in 90 seconds. From Six Feet Under to Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, Iron Man and Sherlock Holmes. Well, okay, that needs to be rewritten from the ground up. Okay, let me try if I can wing this one. Our first presenter is Danny Yunt, a two-time Emmy Award winner for his work as a main title designer and director. Internationally recognized for his work in feature film, television, and show title opens, he is here today to share what it takes to set the tone for a TV series or film in 90 seconds. From Six Feet Under to Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, Iron Man to Sherlock Holmes, Please join us in welcoming Danny Yunt. Shift P, Control Shift P, Entre, oh, undo. Control A, Control Shift P, Enter. Our first presenter is Danny Yunt, a two-time Emmy Award winner for his work as a main title designer and director. Internationally recognized for his work in feature film, television, and show title opens, he is here today to share what it takes to set the tone for a TV series or film in 90 seconds. From Six Feet Under to Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, Iron Man to Sherlock Holmes, please join us in welcoming Danny Yunt. Our first pres- no, I like that one. Save that. And uh, this is actually going to be Tuesday. Ricardo Giraldi. Uh, Giraldi. Ricardo Giraldi. Yeah, that's actually how you spell it too. Giraldi. Awesome. Oh, didn't I not save that? Save. Yes. Awesome. Uh, Control Shift N. And this is going to be 09 01 V1. Ricardo Giraldi. 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 G. Or is it G? G. 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 Giraldi. 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 Our next presenter is a New York based creative director of Be Real. Continually falling in love with new disciplines. Today, he will explore the new interactive concepts and technology in advertising, entertainment, and beyond. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ricardo Giraldi. Giraldi! Cut a little bit more. Yeah. This, Shift-P, Control-A, Control-Shift-E, P. Our next presenter is a New York-based creative director of Be Real. Continually falling in love with new disciplines, 
Today, he will explore the new interactive concepts and technology in advertising, entertainment, and beyond. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ricardo Giraldi. Awesome. It's awesome. Uh, it's Tuesday. I like doing it on the first try. Control Shift N to OK 10-01V1. And this one is Welcome Back. Ooh, this is a zero zero. I have not seen this one. Zero zero. Uh, final afternoon. This is gonna be a fun one. Welcome back. As we enter a final. Um, welcome back. As we enter the final afternoon of FITC Toronto 2013, in addition to those session feedback forms you have fully f you have fully filled out over the past three days, you will have now found a new card on your seats. These cards help FITC understand your thoughts on the conference as a whole, so we can come back next year with an even bigger and better. Please turn these cards in at registration or to any of the volunteers at the end of the day to be eligible to win free tickets to FITC 2014. Welcome back. As we enter the final afternoon of FITC 2013, in addition to those session feedback card... Hmm, Welcome back. As we enter the final afternoon of FITC Toronto 2013, in addition to those session feedback cards you've hopefully been handing in over the past three days, you will now find a new card on your seats. This card will help FITC understand your thoughts on the conference as a whole, so we'll be able to come back next year bigger and better. Please turn these cards in at registration or to any volunteer at the end of the day to be eligible to win tickets for FITC Toronto 2014. Wow. <clears throat> that shift P, control A, control shift P, entre. Welcome back. As we enter the final afternoon of FITC Toronto 2013, in addition to those session feedback cards you've hopefully been handing in over the past three days, you will now find a new card on your seats. This card will help FITC understand your thoughts on the conference as a whole, so we'll be able to come back next year bigger and better. Please turn these cards in at registration or to any volunteer at the end of the day to be eligible to win tickets for FITC Toronto 2014. Yep. Uh, and this is Tuesday? Okay, so I'm going to do a fun one of that one. V1 uh, Final F afternoon fun welcome back as we enter the final afternoon of FITC 2013 in addition to those session feedback cards you've been hopefully filling out over the last three days you will find a new card on your seats these cards will help FITC understand your thoughts of the conference as a whole as we can come back next year with bigger and better nope that wasn't son of a did I miss a whole line I no. Found a new card on your seats. These cards help FIT. Yeah, I did. Welcome back. As we enter our final afternoon at FITC Toronto 2013, in addition to those session. No, seek that. Welcome back. As we enter the final afternoon of FITC Toronto 2013, in addition to the session feedback forms you've hopefully been filling out over the last three days, you will find a new card on your seats. These cards help FITC understand your thoughts on the conference as a whole, so we can come back next year even bigger and better. Please turn in these cards at registration or to any volunteer at the end of today to be eligible to win a free ticket to FITC Toronto 2014. Okay, that's fun. Uh, da, ba 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 Shift P, Control A, Control Shift P, Enter. Welcome back. As we enter the final afternoon of FITC Toronto 2013, in addition to the session feedback forms you've hopefully been filling out over the last three days, you will find a new card on your seats. 
These cards help FITC understand your thoughts on the conference as a whole, so we can come back next year even bigger and better. Please turn in these cards at registration or to any volunteer at the end of today to be eligible to win a free ticket to FITC Toronto 2014. Welcome back. As we Nah, whatever. I'll keep it. Um, control shift N. So this is actually going to be 10-01 V1. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay, so this is uh, Danielle Shebel. Shebel? Shybel. Shybel. And Philip Serziga. Seer is like Pier. Ziga is Sega. What? Pier Sega. Seer Zega. Seer Zega. Philip Seer Zega. Danielle Scheibel and and Philip. Wow. Okay, so Danielle Scheibel and Philip Sear Zega. Sear Zega. Sir Ziga. There we go. Enter, enter. Up next are two of the four founding members of Red Paper Heart. They live, work, and play in Brooklyn, New York. Here to discuss how they create experiments for the physical world, what they've learned, what they had to unlearn. Up next are two of the four founding members of Red Paper Heart. They live, work, and play in Brooklyn, New York. Here to discuss how they create experiences for the physical world, what they've learned, what they've had to unlearn, and where they hope to take things next, please join us in welcoming Daniel Scheibel and Philip Zierzega. Mm, I don't know if I like that end part. Let's take a gander. Up next are two of the four founding members of Red Paper Heart. They live, work, and play in Brooklyn, New York. Here to discuss how they create experiences for the physical world, what they've learned, what they've had to unlearn, and where they hope to take things next, please join us in welcoming Daniel Scheibel and Philip Zierzega. Up next are two of the four found. Perfect. Control Shift N, and this is 11 01 V1. Uh, Aaron Aaron, Aaron James Draplin. Draplin. How do I not know how to pronounce that? Draplin. Anyway. Um, okay. And now, FITC is proud to introduce our next presenter of the Draplin Design Co. He is a graphic designer, a co-owner of Field Notes, and other wild craziness. Here to talk about things that don't really have much to do with things, please welcome Aaron James Draplin. And now, FITC is proud to introduce our next presenter of the Draplin Design Co. He is a graphic designer, a co-owner of Field Notes, and other wild craziness. Here to talk about things that don't really have much to do with things, please welcome Aaron James Draplin.
Okay, so that was Toronto 1, which means Monday. Sunday, Tuesday. One, two, three, four, five, six. Zero of six. One, two, three, four. Zero of four. Mm hmm. Carmichael Jackson. Seven. Let's just do six times three is eighteen. Eight. Uh, eight plus six is sixteen. Zero of sixteen. No, fourteen. There it is. Cool. There we go. Make sure Sunday. Wait, what am I still missing? Oh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. No, I'm good. Awesome. Oh, DS store. So Toronto 2 and 3 I still haven't done, but it is 142 right now. I'll think about doing it later on. Anyway, so that is Carmichael Jackson and Toronto 1 version 1 of the audio files complete. Um, still have to get approval, still have to go through back and forth. I know there's going to be probably at least one or two that are just rewrites um, that just don't make sense. Uh, or at least can be worded probably better and not have developer, 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 developer inside of them. Um, but yeah, it's cool. So I'm going to actually stop the recording now um, and uh, I will see you guys next time I end up doing this. Um, hopefully this works out and uh, uh, it's just fun to see. Probably a long time. You can probably skip a lot of the stuff.